Hi everyone, welcome to the Learn jQuery video series. My name is Sukesh Marla and today we will start with the very first lesson of this series that is introduction to jQuery. Let's look at the agenda. This is an introductory session so agenda is quite simple. We will start with understanding what is mean by jQuery and how it is different from JavaScript and then we will look at the some advantages of using jQuery. So what is jQuery? If you want to know the answer for this question then you have to create a small c -sharp application called maths with a function called add which will accept two parameters and return a third parameter. Now the point is what is the difference between this c -sharp and maths class? If your answer is c -sharp is a language and maths is a library or the class which is created using c -sharp, then you are perfectly right. Now whenever I want to implement add function in my logic, I will just create an object of maths class and use it. Just like maths class, jQuery is a library created using JavaScript language and we can reference the jQuery library in multiple applications and by that object oriented principle called reusability comes into picture. But why jQuery? Why not something else? Or in fact, why can't we create our own library and use it? Answer for these questions are, first, it's very lightweight. jQuery is a very well written code, which is about 32 KB size. Because of its lightweight characteristic, it provides a very good performance. The next advantage why we should prefer jQuery is the most important advantage of jQuery. That is cross browser support. When we are working with JavaScript, the most important factor we should consider is browser. The function which is working fine with IE, we are not sure whether it will work great in Firefox or not. But when we are working with jQuery, we are not at all required to worry about browsers because all the jQuery functions are completely browser independent. One of the basic thing which we came across while developing is accessing HTML DOM elements. With the help of jQuery, we can find parent or child of any HTML element at any time with the very with very simpler syntaxes. Other advantages of using jQuery are it's extensible. Lots of uh, jQuery plugins are available in market which are almost free of cost and even we can create our own if we wish jQuery is a well documented library uh, we can get lots of resources like learning resources from internet easily don't go in depth about plugins right now we will talk about them uh, in upcoming videos in the next video we will see from where we will get jQuery library we will try to implement them in our application and then finally we will make a small demo and understand jQuery in some in more deeper way Hope all of you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, if you have any query regarding jQuery or any other technology, you can write me at sukeshmarla at gmail.com and I will try to reply with the best possible way I can. Thanks a lot.